Hello everyone, I'm the Mole Man and welcome to Train Simulator where today I'm going to turn the lights on. There we go. And uh, we're at Strood. We've been at Strood many times, but of course, of course, we we're on the Medway Valley line which is recently released and I'm standing at the new Strood and it is looking pretty amazing. Oh, there we go. You don't get that with it. I'm going to say that a lot. I've put a, this is a scenario I've put together myself. It, like it released. Dovetail sent me sent me over because they're kind like that and just said, "There you go, stuff." So I made a scenario, and this is what I'm going to be driving today because I love the Medway Valley Line so much. It is my local, and today we shall be driving. If I look at my thing, oh, that's noisy. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so that's uh. That's a high-speed service. Today, we are driving to Tango 46, which is the 1534 Street to Maystone West service, which is going to be rather nice. One thing I do want to point out, little disclaimer here, there's some enhanced textures on this 375 and slightly different horn, which has come off the 170 enhancement pack. This is a mod which is not available. It's not available. It's a private mod. I'm afraid it can't be released, but it's uh, something I can at least show you guys and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that answers that question. But yes, we're sitting at Strood, the Medway Valley Line. It's, uh, well, the, the entire route's the Chatham, Main and Medway Valley Line, which is, uh, which is very nice. So if we bring up the map very quickly, so you can see this is our journey, which is pretty cool. But this is the entire route at the moment, which I say at the moment, I'll get onto that in a minute. But this is the new bit. So the Chatham Main Line, which released, was all of this bit. There's London Victoria, that's the Catford Loop, uh, Orpington's there. And um, all that. There's Strood, Rochester, Chatham, Gillingham, Raynham. The new bit is this bit that goes along here. All the way down to Tunbridge. And uh, Danny's of the Workshop Brute Awesomeness is adding the line between Tunbridge and Swanley and Orpington. And taking it down to Dover with the St Pancras extension as well. You know, London, Faversham, High Speed. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. So, uh, yeah. There's... <laughs> Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you will have seen my hype for this. If you've watched any of my videos over January, you've probably noticed my hype for this. Oh, I'm I'm so, I'm so happy! <laughs> look, look at that! It's the Medway Valley Line. <laughs> I've wanted this forever, and it's finally here. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, you're going to see Southeastern's terrible timetabling in a second as we get ready to depart. I'm going to bring up the F5 HUD. That's fun. Oh, and another little disclaimer. This is the Wherry Line Skybox. I added it in. I modded that myself because it looks nicer. So that's fun. You're about right. So look, our doors, they're closing. So this train's going to come in. And guess what we're going to do? That's right. We're departing. So anyone on that train who wants to go onto the Mobile Valley Line now has to wait at least half an hour. If they want to go to Tunbridge, they've got to wait an hour. So that's, uh, that's not fun. That's not fun. But yes, that's New Strood Station, which is... Uh, opened in December, which is very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I'm about to, I, I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm about to drive on the Melbourne Valley line. <laughs> I've wanted this forever. And here we are. Here we are on the Melbourne Valley line. It's, it's, it's a thing, guys. It's a thing. I've, I've been talking about it since, well, practically for as long as my channel's existed. And, uh, well, we're here. We are right here, right now, and it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, yes. So this is Strood. It's featured in London Fabrics from High Speed and the Chatham Main Line. So that's clearly obvious, but there we go. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Right, uh, we're now going to accelerate up to 70 miles an hour, which is good. And we're going to pop inside for a minute. So that's very nice. Let's get the window open. We want to get that window open. Let in the summer sun, which is something Britain never gets. <laughs> oh well. I let train sim do that for me. Give me the sunshine I actually really don't want. It's hot. But it's really cold at the moment. Ugh. British weather is just hot or cold. There is no in between. And whenever it's one, you want it to be the other. So that's always good. That's always good. We should drop the F5 a second there. There we go. Look how good that is. It's amazing. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> We're going to Maidstone West, guys. We're going on the Mermaid Valley line. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, you're about to see me try and do this hudless. I've been challenged to do the line hudless. I'll do the full line as well. Because uh, keep keep your eye out. I'm going to be streaming the career scenarios very soon. Uh, unless you're watching this in the 
far in the future, then it's already done. And I've probably made about a thousand bajillion videos on this, which is always nice. Which is always nice. Ding, indeed. Right, so our top speed at the moment is 70 miles an hour. We won't get any faster on this journey. Uh, so that's that's fine. That's fine. So just as we uh, approach our speed here, it's always good. It's always good. I, I, can't, I don't need the F5 hub when I'm in here. Just when I pop out here, kind of need it. So I can show you guys the scenery. Because I know this line. I know this line by how it sounds. So that that's good. That's always a good thing to know. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. This scenario is one I said earlier, one I've made myself. I'll probably give it a bit of a polish up and I might release it. I've, uh, I've got my scenario skills set down, really. We're going to have some fun there. We're going to have some fun there creating scenarios for this thing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be very good indeed. So that's high speed one. The Chatham main line is up there at the moment and turns off. So that's, that's always good. And we're approaching our first station stop, which is Cuxton. Because we're calling it Cuxton. Hauling, Snodland, Newhithe, Aylesford, Maidstone Barracks, and Maidstone West. That's our journey for today. That's the journey I've chosen for our introductory, because it uh, doesn't take forever, so I thought it was a good one to go for. That's it. So this is Cuxton, looking fancy. You'll see a lot of the station buildings are quite unique on this route as we get along. So that's good. Coming in a bit slow, but that's fine. I know where the station is, that's for sure. I mean, if you saw my, if you saw the video earlier on in January, uh, I did this stop without even the station here on the Chatham Main Line, so that's good. That's a good sign. I'm glad I can do it in this form as well. Right, doors. That's it. Very nice. So, this is Cuxton, which quite, quite a, quite. A, I mean, the, the sta station building's disused now, but what isn't disused is this signal box. Uh, you can see manual gates, so the guy, network rail, guy sits in here and when the train comes he gets out, changes, you know, manually moves the crossing gates. It's old school. Very old school. Very much a lost in time route. Had it semaphore signalling until 2005. One of the last routes to get Ada West, I believe, so that's fun. Right. Just notice then. I mean, these, these screens aren't supposed to be in the 375, but it looked like it had actual DOO textures instead of image not expected here. We'll have a look at that when we get to hauling. That we will, that we will. I need to take some screenshots as well. I'll probably start taking screenshots on other runs. I'm just more interested in taking it in right now. That's what, that's what I'm in this for. I've wanted, I've wanted to be able to take this line in <laughs> and drive it for years. Years! And I'm finally <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it, guys! This is the further. Oh, literally in January we could only go as far as Cuxton because it was where the the, uh, the scenery ran out for the uh, Chatham mainline. But look, the journey's continuing. The track hasn't magically disappeared. We, we, we're going. There's scenery here, and oh, <laughs> this is good. This is good. I'm I'm liking this. I'm very much liking this. Oh, just, ah, I'm a valley line. So excited. It's all I've ever wanted in Train Sim, and now I never need to do anything else. So, uh, you, 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 you will have probably noticed that one by now, so that's good. That's good. Right, and... Excellent. Whistleboard. Let's jump ahead up and fly up to where that whistleboard is actually protecting. Up here, a little crossing. That's it. Nice. It's so good. This route's got freight and all sorts as well, which is very nice. There's plenty to be getting on with on this route. Uh, it's just it's good. You can see one of the main freight bits up here. It's disused, but it's still connected to the main line. It's uh, an old cement works. So that's good. So that's the cement works there. You see the lines all coming in here. All diverge. But they all come together and join up here, which is nice. But you see, it's just used. Oh well, it could still be used one day if it wanted to be. But there's a lot of lot of freight history. We'll see that as we go on a little bit. There's a lot of paper mills, sort of south of Snodland and through to Aylesford, which is nice. So this is hauling. Coming in a bit slow again. <laughs> I think what's the the trouble is I know the route, I off by heart in the real world, but 
this is probably just that the brakes aren't probably physics right. That's 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 my excuse. And I'm doing it from outside the cab, but even so. Hodless. Hodless. <sighs> Good old hauling. Bit of a quiet station, this one. Well, I say quiet, it's not really. Next station isn't quiet. We'll, we'll get to that. There we go. And doors. We'll take a screenshot here. I think we, I think it's about time we take one. One of many to be taken on the Medway Valley line. Look at that hauling. <laughs> oh, this is good. I'm having a good time right now. I'm having a very good time. <laughs> you should see the smile on my face. Literally, if I had a face cam, it would just be all smiles. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. I saw you. You don't need to see that. But yeah, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. How are we doing, people? You're on the Mobile Valley line. You should all be smiling and gleaming with joy. It's good. Alright, time to go. Uh, that's it. Drop me a 5 hut for a minute. Next stop is Snodland. Uh, slightly longer platforms. Gets a high speed service. Uh, I mentioned that way back on the old laptop when that was when it was introduced. Um, so that's fun. So if you want to do any, if you want to get the 395 out for a spin, you can do it on this route. Goes down to Maidstone West, which is very nice. So um, yeah, you'll see you'll see the platforms a bit longer. It's also one of the stations that's been renovated. It's all new, strewed. Uh, Snodland was given a revamp as well a couple of years back, which is fun. I think before, so it was sort of Gravesend in like they did, they did Gravesend, then Rochester, then Snodland, then Strood. What's next? We shall never know. But that's good. Ding. Very, very dingy. Lots of bridges here. Lots of bridges. That's good enough. There's also a new one up here. They took an old one out and put a new one in. I remember when they did that. Alright, how are we doing? Coming up to uh, 60 miles an hour, which is fine. This is the new bridge. It's called Peter's Bridge or something. And then you can see where the old one was. There. That's fun. But we are, uh, as we start curving here, we're going to come off the power again. That's it. And start braking. <laughs> we're going to start braking for Snodland. That's what we're going to do. Uh, one thing I've, I mean, I'm, I, yeah, this is my local line. This is my local line. I'm not going to tell you which station it is, but uh, I can tell you that they're all very accurate. That's one thing I can tell you. What's my speed? I can't see. They're all very accurate. Um, pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Quite the daunting line to take on in terms of the development, I guess, because all the stations are quite unique. So that's fun. See, the station building here is completely different to the one we saw at Cuxton. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. Now it's just uh, completely different altogether. You can see some more industry in the background popping in. <laughs> that's fine. There we go. That's it. Oh, I can hear another AI. There we go. Lovely. Yes, that's the uh, that's the AI in this right there. Excellent. The trains are designed to meet here. The timetable meets here. Also meets at Maidstone West as well. There we go. Right. Nice. That works. That works. So yes, this is Snodland. Not too bad. See, very different station building. Uh, one thing I haven't done in this scenario that I've made myself is told this guy to stop in the right place. I'll fix that before I release this. I imagine I'll release this. Because making scenarios is fun. It's very fun. Right. So, after Snodland is New Hythe, Ellsford, Maidstone Barracks, and Maidstone West. Let's go. Nice. This is one of the signal boxes that isn't open anymore. But it's still a nice signal box. I think it's listed as well. A lot of them are listed. If they're, if they're not operational, they're listed. And they're probably even listed anyway. Alright, off that goes. Let's keep going. New hides next. And our first speed change. We've been 70 miles an hour limit for a little while. But it's going down to 60 soon. So that's fun. Going down to 60, and then 40, and then 70, and then 30, and then we're done. <laughs> Let's see. 
<laughs> I know this stuff. I know this. I know this line so well. I feel so at home right now being on this line. Just, just, just. Ah! But, yeah, right. <laughs> so excited. Ding, yes, ding, ding. All right, greens looking good, looking good. Now, when we get to the 60, we'll already be going a lot slower than that because uh, new hide is a thing. Blow the horn there. Alright, just come through 60 miles an hour. Another whistle board. You get a lot of those on this route. Alright, I'm going to cut the power, start braking. We're going to start braking because uh, new hide is approaching. So that's good. That's good. Uh, this will go alarm, warning us of a 40 that's upcoming. So that's good. That's good. As you can see there, yeah, so speed limit's gone down to 60, going down to 40. So that's, that's fun. You'll see more industry here as well. Currently being demolished, I believe, which is sad. The, the industry did decline over time, but it's, uh, that's the nature of most things, really. It all declined. It all declined. And there used to be a foot crossing as well. This, that bridge is quite a new addition. The one we just went under. Alright, that's good. There's our markers. Long platforms as well. It'll take eight coaches, I think. Because this is an industry heavy area that would have got big trains back in the day. But not anymore. That'll do us. There you go. On the money. Very good. Even those pylons are in the right place. <laughs> it's so good. This is so good. A lot of this has been demolished and rebuilt over recently. Um, so there's still stuff here, but it's a bit different. A bit different. They've nailed the texture of this, which is nice. A bit low quality, but you know, this is train sim we're talking about. It's no next gen thing. That's train sim world, apparently. Right. Um, oh, doors are closing. Good. This is a. Uh, Guard-operated route still, which is good. No, no DOO here. No DOO here. That's not supposed to be there. Shh. <laughs> you can tell because there's no cameras on the side because this is a proper 375. Oh, here we go. Aylesford's next. Uh, quite a pretty station actually, and uh, stagger platforms too. Those of you who get all hyped up over stagger platforms, you'll like this one. Oh, you'll like this one, especially further down the line. Won't see it today, but we will at some point. Industry! It's all knackered. You can see there's a freight line here. You used to get stuff like the Class 73s would run across this line because this bit was unelectrified. This bit was, so the 73s would go down here, pick up what they needed to pick up, and get it on the main line under third rail. So that's good. That's very good. Very good indeed. Right, so our speed limit of 40 is quite rapidly approaching. Cap it at 50, start braking again. Sort of bring the speed down nice and gently. 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. There's our board in front of us, not too shabby. See, freight's 35. Freight goes a lot slower on this line, top speed of about 45. Nice and slow, <laughs> nice and slow. Let's get, the, get some tones going. Right, and Aylesford's literally here. <laughs> you can see the stagger platforms going on right now. Ours is first, sort of comes out of nowhere. This is good. This is very nice. <laughs> this is very nice. The M20 should be over there. Let me take a look at that in a minute. It'll go under the M20 soon. Uh, sit, looking good. Right, I'm going to bring the yeah, doors. Right, I'm going to bring up the timetable. Uh, Real-time trains timetable, see if I'm actually on time. Bring up the HUD. Uh, 15.50, we're supposed to be here at... Yes, we're on time. That's looking good. We are on time. Very nice. Let's get rid of that HUD. Don't need that HUD on this one. Oh, there we go, yeah. See, that's pretty cool. I used to just say image, not expected here for some reason, but now that's... Uh, on the 377s, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Doors are closing. Let's go. 40 miles an hour. 
Along here in the other direction was like the last bit of jointed track along this route. And at 40 miles an hour it's just lovely. It's just... But, alas, no longer exists. So that's, that's, that's Aylesford, by the way. Nice and grand. Nice and grand. And there's also the... Uh, there's also that one too. Very nice. In the, in the Sigma box. It's all good. It's all good. That's it. What am I standing this side for? I'm trespassing. <gasps> there we go. That works. I'm happy with that. That looks good. That looks good. Right, next crossing. Level crossing is coming up shortly as well. There's two in Ellsford. To approach our speed of 40. A new housing development next to us on the left. Well, was. This is supposed to be. Yeah, but it's not. It's fine. Whistleboard. Almost missed that. That's close enough. Alright, that's 40 miles an hour. Should get some nice super elevation. Let's jump up the line a bit. Let's see the like super elevates it can't around here. There we go. I've stood here a few times. I've stood at quite a lot of spaces, a lot of places on the Mother Valley line. It's good. Here we come. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That works. <laughs> that is so good. Right, let's see if they're crossing. Go back to our train. Uh, there we go. Right, that we just went past a, a sign as well, telling us that we can go back up to 70s. So let's do that thing. Let's do that thing. Next warning will be for a 30. But we haven't got to worry about that too much. That's just more our breaking point for... <laughs> Maidstone Barracks, really. So that's good. Maidstone Barracks, Maidstone West. To the next two stations. Some of the shortest distances between stations ever. Not the shortest, but pretty short. You'll see what I mean. Should be able to see one station from the other. Which is pretty cool. Mile posts. I don't know if we'll see another one on this route, but you'll notice that what DTG do on some of their routes is they'll have the, uh, the CSR number boards on the side of the track on British routes and uh, hang on there we go it's got the number 12 on it they've all got the number 12 on it and it's just a bit like they should be different numbers that's but that's, that's the M20 they should be different numbers but okay but what's interesting is the number 12 the CSR area 12 is actually on this route it's just south of Shrewd that's, that's a nice touch and uh, what we've got next here is Allington Freight Sidings uh, it's a aggregates facility discharge Quite nice. That's why you get the 59 with the route. So that's always good. Right. Let's pop myself back in here for a little while. It's one thing outside. You can't hear any AWS. That's, you know, it's got its own it's got its own drawbacks, but it's all good. It's all good. Ding. Oh, no, not ding. Oh, but that's green. Oh, 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 dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's probably just because of the way this signaling system works. Probably not. It doesn't work very well in train sim. It's a bit... I think it's A A B signaling. I think it's called. It's uh uses a lot of banner rep no, ba no, no, I always say banner repeaters. It's not. It's just repeaters. It's just repeaters. That's probably why it's a bit going a bit. <laughs> That's fine. All right, let's start breaking. Let's start breaking because uh, we got ourselves a Maidstone Barrack Station coming up. So that's good. You can see there's a bridge in the distance there. That's from, that's the Maidstone East Line. We're about to go under the Maidstone East Line. I think that's the only thing that would have made this route even better is if it had the Maidstone East line up to Swanley. That'd be nice, but it, it alas, it does not. But that's that's fine. I think someone else is working on that, which is uh, pretty good in their own time. So yeah, we're going to go under the Maidstone East line here, which goes all the way down to Ashford in in reality. Right, Ada West is going to be cleared here. That's it. Good. All right, there's the backs. Um, there's our three car. There it is. You can see more industry here. Maidstone, county town. County town of Kent. Quite the important town. Not exactly in its heyday anymore, but still, you know, still a, still a thing. Still a thing. I just made you pause the game by accident then. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to take a screenshot. There we go. This is, this is, this is astonishingly accurate. <laughs> Sat here a few times as well. Um... Right, so we had a warning for a 30 limit. That's because Maidstone West is there. It's the other side of that tunnel. 
Very short distance. Very short distance. I imagine we'll get up to about 40 miles an hour and then break for the 30 and then we'll be done. We'll be done. And then... Well, this is just the first day of the rest of my life, really. This is... This is the start of something amazing. That's what this is. This is seriously the start of something. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm... I'm oh, you, you're going to be sick of the line by the end of the year. I said that before in exactly the same way. Because it's true. Unless you really like it like I do. And in which case, we're just going to have a great time. We're going to have a great time. Right, I'm going to bring it back down to 30. We don't need to be going this quickly right now. Short distances and all. And we've got to stop. We can't just go coming in at 30. We've actually got to stop. So that's good. This bit's a tunnel. I can't actually get out. So that's fun. This train scene thinks it's a tunnel. And that tree's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not a tree there in real life. So that's fine. Right. Clear AW West because it would have gone off there. Maidstone West, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. The other uh, halfway point pretty much on the line. And uh, quite the key station. And for high speed services. Trains used to start here and go to London Bridge via Red Hill. Tum go down to Tunbridge and go to Red Hill. So that's a bit different. So we just so there's a three marker here. And we, we'll just come to a stop round about here. We can have a look round in a minute. That's it, right. Let's open the doors. Drop the hub. We are actually done with this journey now. That is uh, that is the full service. That's that's the that's the Maidstone shuttle, if you will. And we're here on time. And what it would do now is the driver would get out, go to the other end, and take the train back to Strood. I'm not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look round because we can do that. I want to see how good Maidstone looks. I've been to Maidstone many a time. So right, and first things first, this should be open because people walk through here. But that's fine. Then you go this way. That's it. Well done. I've completed this scenario successfully. Isn't that fantastic? So this used to be a car sales area. Now it's a McDonald's. Bit different. Uh, there's a lovely news agents in this where they're supposed to, it's supposed to be news news agents there. They do some nice sausage rolls. Uh, Maidstone Hospital's up that way, which is uh pretty good, pretty good. And then you've got the London Road, and then oh, it's frozen. Is it frozen, or is my cursor just completely decided to go away? Oh no, it's finished. <laughs> okay, well there we go. We'll have a look. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back to Maidstone. See, I was talking about sausage rolls for so long that the uh, the scenario ended. So that's fun. So we're back in Maidstone West. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a look around. Um, it's actually pretty good. There's supposed to be track here that's covered in foliage. That's fun. I know that much for sure. There used to be an old set of buffers here. There used to be an old set of buffers at the end of the line because this used to be a terminating platform for trains going south. But uh, there didn't used to be a fence. You used to be able to sit on the buffers. That was always fun. That was always fun. And this kind of fence should be over there. But <laughs> that's fine. I could really nitpick this, nitpick this route apart because I know it so well. I'm not going to do that because I'm, you know, I just, I just know the route too well. I'm not going to rip it to shreds because I know it off by heart. It's uh, it's a very good representation. It's a very good representation. So yes, news agents, uh, we were trying to go this way, trying to cross the uh, the Medway, because uh, being the Medway Valley line, it follows the River Medway. So that's right here, which is very nice. This is the River Medway. Uh, we it, pretty much we've we you would have seen it earlier on in the journey. We pretty much follow it all the way. So that that's good. We pretty much follow it all the way. Um, this is where you can get the Kentish lady from. Which is a nice boat that goes along the Medway. It's very nice. And then we're at the High Street. Well, this isn't the High Street. This is the High Street. Uh, obviously, poorly represented in Train Sim because it's not supposed to be. But you can see it's shops, you know. It's shops. Bloopers Party Shop. If you want to have a go there, it's all good. It's all good. Sort of diverges a bit here. But this is... The layout's good. I mean, it would be. They've just pr pretty much done it off of Google Maps, I reckon. But it's... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, liking this. If we keep going... I just, want to, I just want to do this walk quickly because we can, and then we'll do one more thing, and then we'll be done for today. We keep doing this walk. There's a bit of a courtyard here. That, that's the checkers centre, now known as the mall. I know it's the checkers centre. And this should be uh, an interesting road to go down. Yes. We'll go back in a minute. I just want to have a look around. So if we go, yeah, if we go back, right, if we go back, and we go along to here, and go down this way, this should be, take us along to a road that's there. Yep, and then we go and go this way up a hill. Somewhere along here is a nice little shop. I used to sell, and there's a theatre down here as well, which is always very nice. And this is the road that continues further from up there. This is Week Street, 
which goes all the way down, which is very nice, very nice. And if we keep going, we get to a, a station building. Well, well, sort of. It's a shop with a station building next to it. This is Maidstone East. So that's the walk <laughs> to Maidstone East. Uh, actually, it says Maidstone East as well. Yeah, it does. So if you want to build a, if you want to build a route that's got Maidstone East in it, you have got a station to go with now. So that's good. I'm literally just looking around now. I'm aware of this. That's fine. Maidstone East line. So that's good. That's good. But then the thing is, if we go out of Maidstone East, I'm going to do this properly because I know the line. Um, if we get out of Maidstone East and walk alongside it, we can take this footpath this way. I was just going to follow the footpath for a little while. It's very nice. Uh, it's all very good. La 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 la. This is just, I've, done, I've done this. I've done this. This is the thing. So many times. It's just, I've, I've done it, guys. And now it's adjacent. It's so good. So that's the, the A229, which goes up towards the places like Chatham. That's, that's essentially what that is. And this is, so, yeah, so now we walk alongside the Mason East Line. Brilliant place to watch trains. It really is. And I remember one time when I was going along this sort of area, uh, which I'll, yeah, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, this this used to be a diversionary route for, for the Eurostars when they had third rail shoes. If, like, the line with fire Tunbridge was knackered, they'd go up via Maidstone East. And I've seen a Eurostar go through here once, which was amazing. So we can go along here. Down there's places like there's a hobbycraft down there and stuff like that. <laughs> Georgia Asda's, I know that much. Um, hobbycraft's really expensive, though. However, if we go this way, and then we cross the road, but I think this is an old, uh, this is an, this is an old club of some kind, club building there, uh, like a gentleman's or club thing, not, 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 not a gentleman, not, not, nightclub thing, that's what I meant to say, but this is a, ugh, this is, uh, this is Mason Barracks, <laughs> so literally, you can just do the walk, and, oh, train's up there, <laughs> so that, that's good, that's good, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do that, because I know the walk, this is quite a nice walk, really. Trouble is, there's lots of shops on along the way. You lose money. There's a KFC on the way as well. That's never good for you. That's never good. <laughs> always lose money there. But then literally just go fly along here. And uh, we'll probably get we'll hit a tunnel section in a minute. Donk. Yeah, that's fine. Across there. And here we are. Back at Maystone West. So that's good. That's good. I just wanted to do that because I can, really. I could do that across the entire route if I wanted to. There's a lot of roads that pretty much follow the length of the line, but... Nah, yeah, right. We're going to do one more thing, just because why not? I'll show you what you, what trains you get with it and stuff, just in case you don't know. You probably know, but in any case, let's have a look. So we're now at the other end of the line. We're at Tunbridge. Quite a big station, really. Uh, big interchange for a lot of people. But yeah, we're at Tunbridge, and uh, we're, we're here for a reason. We're going to look at the rolling stock, like I just said. I just thought I'd show you Tunbridge Station, because it's quite, quite a good one. Quite a good one. Second representation in trains. Not its first. It was in the 1066 line, Hastings to Tunbridge. So that's always good. Um, yeah, so if we keep going. So the this is the southeastern main line. The Melbourne Valley line's up that way. Diverges off at Paddock Wood. So that's fun. But if we go this way, the line's up off that way. They go up to London. And as I mentioned with the route extension that Danny's doing for the Steam Workshop, that that's the track up there which goes up to Swanley and Orpington so uh, lots of track coming soon but this is Tunbridge West Yard and we're going to take a look at the rolling stock because we can so yeah as previously noted I've got a, a pack that modifies the Electrostars it's important to know because all Electrostars pretty much in my videos and streams from now on will have this modified looking front as you can see here and here but yeah it's uh, it's pretty good uh, it just can't be released unfortunately um yeah, it's just the way it is. But it's uh, it's still it's still good, still good, still good. So you get a three seven five dash three and the dash six. This is all stuff you get with the Chatham mainline as well. Nothing overly different here. And dash seven. And the only difference there is the pantograph on the dash six. And oh, we're going inside. And there's some nameplates. Rochester Cathedral. Very nice. Very nice. But if we just hop ourselves around. Got some 377s, seven which is nice, and Southern, because 164, for example, and 163 are now owned, or they're, they're you know, leased to Southeastern. So if you want to take a Southern train up from, like, Raynham to uh, London, Victoria, you can, and it's realistic now, so that's good. Uh, they also give you the old headlights, which is very nice, Dash 1s, and the, uh, the Dash 3s, 
which used to be three seven fives. That they did, then they were reclassified. Uh, you also get the four six five, of course, which has also got a slightly modified front as part of the private pack. It's uh, changed the yellow slightly. But yes, you get the get the blue, and you get the the old the older yellow and grey, which is very nice. And then freight. We move over to freight. Uh, rather new addition, uh, semi new, I think we'll call it. Uh, it should appear. There it is. Got the uh, 59-0, which is in an unbranded livery. But you've, uh, I think, DP Simulation have already done a branded version. So if you go onto their blog or their website and go and download that, this it's not a patch. It's actually a separate reskin because some of these were unbranded as well. But this is uh, number one actually. This is 59001. So it's actually got a bell. <laughs> It's got a little commemorative bell on the on the on the back actually. The driver's on the other end, I think, so it's on the back or something. But yeah, that's pretty good. You also get a 59-2, which has been in train sim for a little while. Uh, came out when the North London line did, which was oh, it's going back a bit. It's going back a bit. And then freight galore. You got your your uh, your MEAs, your MFAs, and your MX MXAs. That's it. There's a reskin for these as well on DP Simulation, which makes them network rail yellows, which is very nice. Which adds a bit of the variety. Uh, new wagon, J and A's. Nice big tall J and A's, A, B and C. Uh, B having these kinds of couplings. So a bit different, bit different. And then some JHAs as well. Got yellow and EWS. So plenty to be getting on with, for sure. And then with the other stuff that's already in training, like the 466, the 395... The 73s, a reskin for the 313 to make it a 508. There's a, there's a lot of excitement to be had about the Melbourne Valley line. There's a lot to do on it. And uh, I'm going to show you as much as I possibly can over time. But yes, Melbourne Valley line. It's intrusive, guys. I'm so excited. I can't believe I've just done what I've done. I've just driven a train. Just driven, drove, driven. Yeah, I've just done that thing. I've just... I've just gone from Street to Maidstone West and now I'm standing at Tunbridge West Yard. I've just done that thing. This, uh, that's, in, that's insane. That's insane. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, yeah, it's just, oh, it's the best route. Favourite route, number one. Melbourne, Chatham, Main and Melbourne Valley lines. That's for sure. That's for sure. I'm going to stop going on now because uh, I've got nothing, of, nothing to add entertainment value-wise. So, uh. I'll just get a nice shot here of the uh, of all the trains. Actually, no, we can get a nice shot from over here, can't we? That works. Just get a shot of all the trains of sorts. That works. And I shall just uh, say I'll see you in the next one, folks. Maybe Valley Line. It's good. I'm happy. It's the year's going to be absolutely fantastic.